I can read my first little critter, just a kite. I see a kite at the hobby store. I say, "That's the one I want." We take my new kite home. I put it together. Dad helps. Saturday is the Critterville kite flying contest. I take my kite out to practice. My dad and I go to the park. It is a very windy day. Dad says, "Watch out for trees." Oops! Too late. My kite gets caught. Dad saves my kite, but my kite is all ripped up. I cry. Dad says, "Don't worry, we can get another one." But the store is sold out. I say, "I will miss the contest." I am brave and only cry a little. Dad says, "I have an idea." He calls Grandpa. Grandpa will build a new kite. Grandpa goes to his workshop. He builds a special kite just for me. Grandpa brings it to me. It has no decorations on it. I do some special art on it. We are ready to try it out. My kite flies well at the park. It goes fast. It goes high, too high. It disappears. Oh no! I say, my kite is gone. Yep, it's gone," says Grandpa. "The string broke. Let's go shopping." I ask, "Why, Grandpa?" "It's a surprise," Grandpa says. We go to the hardware store. We go to the lumber yard. We go to the art supply store. I ask. What's all this stuff for? You'll see," says Grandpa. Grandpa goes to Dad's shop. He's there for a long time. He won't tell me anything at dinner or at bedtime. In the morning, I find Grandpa's surprise for me. It's an amazing new kite. We all go to the kite flying contest. My kite flies great. I don't win a ribbon for the highest kite or the fastest kite. I win a ribbon for the most original kite. I say, it's just a kite my grandpa made for me.